We are getting our first look at a Virgin Galactic spaceship that could soon take private passengers into space. Spaceship 3 will fly researchers and tourists about 50 miles above Earth's surface. That is about seven times higher than a commercial airplane's cruising altitude. And passengers will experience several minutes of weightlessness on the journey. The company expects the first launch to be early next year. That's the current estimate. Tickets have sold for $250,000, but that price is likely to go up. First on CBS This Morning, Virgin Group founder Sir Richard Branson joins us with Virgin Galactic CEO Michael Cole Glazer. Good morning to both of you. Uh, I am personally, as a member of the public, very excited at the prospect of traveling into space. So my first question to you, uh, Sir Richard Branson, this has been about a 10-year effort, uh, maybe even a little bit more. This is Spaceship 3. How is this design different, and what makes you excited about it in particular? Well, um, <clears throat> just looking at those pictures again, um, uh, I remember as a kid um, thinking, you know what I'd love, what I thought, what I envisaged the spaceship would look like, and uh, and I think um, uh, that uh, VSS Imagine is exactly uh, what I imagine it to be like, and I, and I think the engineering team have just done a magnificent job. Um, it's it's lighter than our first spaceship, uh, VSS Unity. Uh, it's as you can see, um, crafted with chrome, um, so that uh, on on the uh, you know, when it's in space, it'll uh, reflect back to Earth, and uh, you know, kids who are watching the spaceship uh, from Earth will be able to uh, see it, see the sun uh, bouncing off it. Um, and um, uh, yeah, it's it, it, it's um, tremendously exciting. It's been a long a long journey to get this far, um, but we've got an incredible few months and, and of milestones ahead. And for people at home thinking right now, how much do I have in the piggy bank for that $250,000 ticket price? What do you get exactly? What is the experience? Well, first of all, I think in, in the years to come, uh, the price will come uh, down. I mean, in the short term, it'll go up, and to, you know, whilst people who you know who can afford it can help us fund uh, what's you know what's not an inexpensive operation. But in the long term, uh, the price will come down, and, and hopefully, a lot of people watching this program. Um, you know, we'll be able to go to space. Um, but, um, you know, but what they'll do is they'll climb into uh, most likely uh, either VSS Unity or VSS Imagine, um, and they'll be uh, taken up by our mothership um, up, up to about 35,000 feet. They'll be dropped. Uh, they'll, um, they'll fire the rocket. They'll go from naught to uh, three and a half thousand miles an hour in eight seconds. Um, mm -hmm. And when they're in space, um, they'll be able to unbuckle, um, float around. We have these massive big windows. They'll be able to look out of and look, look back at look back at this beautiful Earth, um, and they will have become astronauts. and And they'll have, I think, the the ride of a lifetime in in uh, in the craft of you know one of the most beautiful craft I think ever 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 built. I, I think it's fair to say it is a gorgeous uh, spaceship. Uh, I want to go to Michael now. Uh, I'm, I'm interested in having Gail King become an astronaut one day. Uh, so my question to you, the date for people going up in this uh, spacecraft has been pushed ahead to early 2022. It's been a long process, as Richard pointed out. How confident are you in 2022 as being the actual uh, go date for people launching? So we've got four flights that we've announced. Uh, we are planning to get back to space uh, in New Mexico in May. And following that flight, uh, we have two fully crewed flights. The first of those will be just internal mission specialist. And the one following will actually have Richard joining us. And it's really to kind of showcase what's the private astronaut experience going to be. And uh, we think kind of who better than Richard to demonstrate that. Uh, we'll have another flight with Italian Air Force that will showcase the scientific uh, research capabilities. And then, as you said, uh, when we get into 22, we expect to open up uh, for all the private astronauts to go. But following the flight we do with Richard this summer, uh, we plan to open up sales again and uh, looking forward for people it's uh, able to sign up and come to space with us. My Michael, what I'm really asking is how long do I have to convince <laughs> Gail King to spring for a ticket and become a private astronaut. Gail, do you have a question about flight that you want to? I do actually, because listen, Richard, I, I think I agree with Tony. I think the spaceship is very cool, Tony and Michael. I like 
Richard, when you said it's a ride of a lifetime. But I am curious about the price. You said it's going to go down and be more affordable. What's your definition of affordable? I'm, I'm curious. What is? It? Do you have a number on that yet? Well, uh, we yeah. don't have well, a number. We don't have a yet, number. But, 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 Richard, but first. Our plan, our plan is to is to build um, a, a number of spaceships, and so we could maybe get up to sort of four or five hundred flights a year. And, and then we will try to get it down to a price where um, as many people as possible are able to go up. But I think I won't forecast um, the, exactly how low we'll be able to get it. Otherwise, nobody will buy the, buy the, buy the tickets today. At the higher well, cost. Michael, as you know, Jeff Bezos is watching. Are you, does he have something to worry about? Well, you know, I think it's really important that the idea of going to space starts to get normalized. Uh, because it's not something people are used to doing. And we're excited for a lot of people to go into space and uh, make that something that everybody sees as something that they're aspiring to. I think we're going to have a really unique uh, focus on owning our part of space. Mm. And that will be really on the people themselves and their ability to look back to the planet. So uh, right. uh, we're excited for the Blue Origin folks, but we're very confident <laughs> that what we're going to have is really unique. All right. Cool. We are very excited for you. Light the fires and kick the tires. So Richard Branson <laughs> and Michael Cole Glazer, we appreciate you being on.